Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, my name is Giselle and on this channel we talk all things about women, faith, encouragement, motivation, TTC, everything, okay? And in this video, I want to talk and have a conversation, an open conversation about feeling overwhelmed, maybe even feeling anxiety, and what things I like to do to help clear my mind, my thoughts, my emotions, and that have helped me in the past and I'm currently still practicing because I don't want to get myself back into a space of feeling anxiety or feeling overwhelmed and yeah so if that sparks an interest in you stick around and continue watching if you have not yet join my youtube fam hit the subscribe button down below hit the notification bell for any upcoming videos and yeah so let's get into it so like I mentioned I want to talk to you ladies about being overwhelmed I am going to be doing a different kind of video today. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me as I chat and talk about being overwhelmed, feeling overwhelmed, feeling anxious. I am not a professional. I am not a doctor. I'm nothing. Okay. And when it comes to makeup, not even. Okay. So I am going to be doing just a simple everyday look that I always do. And I'll be showing you the products that I'm using. I am not no makeup expert. I am not no hair expert. I am nothing, okay? But I am just a simple girl doing simple things just to get through the day. So when I'm talking about these things that I do, they're going to be things that are helping me currently or have helped me in the past kind of get over any kind of feelings that I may have about being overwhelmed, being anxious, or anything like that. And I kind of wanted to sit down and record since I haven't done it in a while because I have been overwhelmed. <laughs> and... You know that that's just life you know that's what it is and as i go through i might just show you guys products that i'm currently using but i have already primed my face so just in case you're wondering oh my gosh she hasn't done anything to her face i have so being overwhelmed is basically like just feeling buried in things that you are currently doing you know if you look at the actual definition it's actually buried or drowned beneath a huge mass and i want to put it as in buried and drowned beneath our huge emotions our emotions our feelings our thoughts all those things can overwhelm us very easily and sometimes when you're giving too much to someone or something or whatever it is you can also be feeling a little bit overwhelmed so i've been feeling i haven't been feeling like that lately but prior to me starting my new role at work i know i mentioned here that i was i got the job and prior to starting my new role, I was feeling like that. I was feeling like I just had too much going on. I couldn't do it all. But I have been using this new product. It's called Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. Y'all, I am obsessed with this product. It is normal to feel overwhelmed. Like I said, I'm not a pro, okay? So don't judge on how I'm doing my makeup. Um... And I feel like a lot of us women tend to feel overwhelmed a lot of the times. And it sucks. Being overwhelmed definitely triggers my anxieties a lot. And I know a lot of us, you know, people in the church community or just in general in the church are like, anxiety is not of God. Um, and you shouldn't feel like that. And... You know, but let's face it, I, anxiety is real. Anxiety is something that we all, I think, deal with in different ways. I, for example, for me, I can't sleep at night. <laughs> I, I feel like when the lights go out is when I feel the most anxious, is when I feel the overwhelming of my thoughts kind of set in and it sucks. It really does. Um, and not just feeling emotionally overwhelmed, but majority of the times, if you're doing too much, for example, like my schedule is all over the place. I work, I get off of work, I do house duties, I cook, I clean, I have to do my homework, and I have been finding it very hard to just sit down, record, edit videos because I have school and work now and with work i'm learning all a new process so that can be overwhelming um not work itself but 
doing too many things that are requiring me to learn right or to do things like for example youtube might be easy for some people but for me i feel like i have to learn how to edit videos how to do this in a video how to do that in a video and so i have to take time to actually learn and put into practice what i'm learning as well as school school i have labs i have tests i have team assignments and it's just a lot and that's something that i'm probably going to be working on later on today but some of the things that have helped me currently and in the past and i kind of work on it on a current basis even though i don't feel overwhelmed is writing down my feelings writing down my thoughts get a journal a lot of people don't really care about getting a journal or anything like that but for me i find it to be very relaxing when i'm writing i i remember when i was like nine ten years old my mom gave me a diary and i was like what is this you know and she's like it's a it's a diary you know she's like you write your your thoughts your feelings and i was like what at 10 years old nine years old however old i was i didn't comprehend that and i still have that diary somewhere and i was writing like the darnest things on there like i'm happy today <laughs> but i was my mom was teaching me how to vent on paper basically um and sometimes we don't have an outlet as in like a person to talk to as in who can i go to and and just kind of vent with and i think my mom was teaching me how to do that without having to actually speak what i was feeling what i was you know even though it's good don't get me wrong it's good to talk about your feelings but at nine years old i had my first diary and she's like just write whatever you're feeling if you're happy you're happy if you're sad you write you're sad you know and ever since then i've always had a journal and writing whether it's my prayer journal or my actual like journal journal which i don't have anymore i think i lean more towards having a prayer journal i oh if you're wondering i use tarte for my concealer this is shade 47s tan deep sand just in case if you're wondering i love tarte i've used other concealers don't like them i always end up falling back into tarte and and so yeah so i write everything down literally everything if i'm sad if i'm mad if i'm upset those kind of things help me kind of vent a little bit even if i don't have someone physically to talk to and if you have not yet tried to write down what you're feeling i would suggest that you start you know start somewhere and write down how you're feeling you know how is your mental state how is your emotional state because that has to do a lot with us being overwhelmed on the on top of everything that we have to do on a regular basis right but sometimes we forget to take that time and this is when self-care comes into play take care of yourself and when you're being when you're feeling overwhelmed and anxious it is time for some self-care and that's what i'm doing here <laughs> i am doing i did my hair i am doing my makeup just a little tlc for myself before i get started with my hectic day because that way i'm relaxed i'm calm i'm collected and i can just go from there so try writing down i think i mentioned this in all my videos when it comes to emotions feelings whatever it is write them down it's always good to acknowledge what you're feeling it's okay to feel sad it's okay to feel angry it's okay to feel anxious nervous write it down acknowledge those feelings right we want to be able to acknowledge what we're feeling so that we have a better understanding either what caused it or what is the the basically the foundation of what is causing this feeling right we want to go back and look at what is what is causing me to feel angry what is causing me to feel upset overwhelmed anxious because when you're writing things down it makes you think and for me it's a good way of thinking and going back through my memories like what triggered this what triggered my anxieties what triggered my feeling overwhelmed what triggered my sadness and that kind of helps me because then going forward i know what is a trigger for me i know how to kind of avoid it in a sense i don't know if i'm making sense but anyways let's continue <laughs> another thing that i like to do is take deep breaths 
practice breathing techniques. There is a four, seven, eight technique. I think it's what it's called. I think it's you, you inhale for four seconds, hold it for seven and let it out for eight seconds. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Um, don't quote me on it. I, I don't do that technique per se, but I remember in elementary school, I was going through a phase of feeling homesick, wanting to be with mommy, wanting to be with daddy. I had just moved from Puerto Rico to Massachusetts. I did not know English. I didn't know anybody. Um, and I found myself being overwhelmed, like extremely overwhelmed at the age of nine and 10 years old, being in second, actually being in third grade. And I didn't know the language. I didn't, nobody was there to translate for me. It was a very hard time as a child because all that was around me was Caucasian people. And I was the only Hispanic in my school. And it was very hard. Although I was born here in the States, you know, now that I've been raised in the States, you know, my family is originally from Puerto Rico, but I was born here in the States, but I didn't know any English like my siblings did. And I found myself being overwhelmed, being homesick, wanting just to be with mom all the time. I would go to the nurse, say I was not feeling good because I just wanted to leave and go home. And I actually had to talk to one of the guidance counselors there. And I had three sessions every week. And every week she was always telling me, let's do breathing techniques. Let's practice our breathing techniques. Take a deep breath, hold it, you know, try to hold it for 10, five to 10 seconds and let it out. And I would do this all the time when I would feel overwhelmed. And even as an adult now, if I was to ever see her again, I don't even remember her name, I don't remember her face, but she was such a sweet young girl that was helping me. She was maybe in her 20s and she made me feel so comfortable when I was talking to her all the time. And even in our conversations, I guess she would start to notice that I was feeling anxious. And she was like, okay, let's practice our breathing techniques. So I'll take a deep breath in, count backwards from 10 and slowly letting it out. And that kind of helped relax my nerves, my anxiety. And now as an adult, when I feel like I am about to get a panic attack because I do get those, I haven't gotten them in a long time, but I do from time to time get to the point where I'm like in a panic mode and I do get panic attacks, which are the worst. And if you suffer from them, I feel for you and I pray for you because they truly are horrible. To experience but I know when I feel that I'm at that level I want to bring my heart rate down right it's all about bringing the heart rate down calming down and focusing focusing on something else rather than my thoughts than my feeling I'm focusing on my breathing and that has helped me if you find yourself that your anxiety and you feeling overwhelmed is getting you to like a panic kind of state and you're just in your thoughts all the time take a moment maybe 10 minutes and just and relax you know and, and do that a couple times till you at least are able to get your heart rate down your thoughts are focusing on your breathing and it brings it down and it brings it back into like a center you know like centering centering yourself and so if you haven't tried a breathing technique i would suggest you either google or even just try what i just said take a deep breath in count backwards from 10 slowly dating your air out and kind of recentering yourself in a sense i'm putting a little bit of eyeshadow i'm not doing i'm not doing much okay i use the naked palette i'm actually using the color naked i am a very simple neutral girl just simple and neutral nothing out of the ordinary nothing crazy but i want to make sure that if i go take my dogs out they're like oh she she put herself together you know because sometimes i don't sometimes i just go around this house looking like a like a mad woman <laughs> but um so yeah so the next thing that i would suggest we do i do unplug yourself okay unplug yourself from the world from technology from these devices because at the end of the day that is what overwhelms us <laughs> i don't know about you but i know that when i am feeling overwhelmed i tend to go into facebook and i'm scrolling through facebook and I start seeing sad posts. I start looking at, cause I do have a lot of the news things that I do follow. 
I start seeing the news, I get all sad, and yeah, and there goes that. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color Ebony. I think this might be too dark for me. I don't really do much with my eyebrows. As y'all can see, my eyebrows are dark as they are. But I do like to go in in some spots that I know are like a little just need a little touching and that's it. But I don't do much to my eyebrows. I don't put a lot of like gel products or any, any of that stuff on. I don't really like that because my eyebrows are already dark. And I just go back and I just kind of clean them up a little bit. But if you are feeling, one of the things that my um, therapist told me was if you're feeling sad, don't go watch a sad movie. And I didn't think about this until she actually told me. And I don't know if I have mentioned this in any of my videos, but um, she said, don't, if you're mad, don't go watch a movie that's going to make you mad or an action movie or a movie that's gonna or like a suspense kind of movie because it's gonna trigger emotions in you and your mind doesn't know how to tell the difference between your feelings and that you're watching something so if the movie's making me sad and it's making me cry my brain doesn't know that i'm watching something that's making me sad if that makes sense all it knows is that i am feeling a way i am sad and that's it right so that triggers other emotions in you so that's my that might be something that might help i know i tend to when i'm in my feelings or when i just want to like disconnect i do watch netflix <laughs> and depending on what netflix i watch i have to be very careful with what i'm watching because if i'm feeling a certain way i don't want to watch something that's going to make me feel even sadder or angrier or whatever the case is so yeah, unplugging yourself from social media, unplugging yourself from the phone. I'm not saying like if someone's calling you an emergency or texting you, none, none of that. I'm just saying like unplug yourself from the social media aspect because sometimes that triggers a lot of our emotions and it's not good when we're already feeling overwhelmed, when we're already feeling a certain type of way. So sometimes it's connecting and just being kind to yourself in that moment might just help. It might. When I do feel overwhelmed or anything like that, I do tend to automatically disconnect because I don't want to feel that way, if that makes any sense. For blush, I, I'm really into blush lately. I don't know why because I never was into blush, but I'm into blush lately. I use the Rare Beauty um, blush. I love this. One little dot goes a long way. And I like to use the Illuminator. Illuminator? whatever from rare beauty as well but i'm not using that today i am spending the day at home i don't i don't really need to do much and i kind of just put it above like my cheek bone i don't actually put it on my cheek but i put it like right here and i use the elf blush palette and i kind of mix them and i kind of tap it on my wrist i mean on my hand because i don't want a lot of blush I just want enough that I don't look like I'm a pale looking woman, you know? And then I just put a little bit on my nose, on the bridge of my nose. I don't do contour. I don't do any of that, any of that stuff. Especially if I'm just here at home. With um, Fit Me by Maybelline, a matte poreless powder. I use a big brush, just dab it in there. And I just kind of go around, kind of just closing, setting everything. Again, I'm not a pro, nor do I want to come on here as a makeup pro because I don't know anything about makeup. I just know what works for me because I don't like the makeup makeup look. You know, I like that no makeup makeup look. Another thing is sleep. I talk about this on all my videos. Sleep. Get your rest, girl. Like, seriously, seriously, get some rest. Um, sleep helps so much. Uh, I actually slept in today. <laughs> I woke up by around 10 and that's not a good, that's not the time that I wanted to wake up. I wanted to wake up a lot earlier, but you know what? It is what it is. You know, sometimes you just have to go with the flow of things and maybe my body needed to sleep. So I did.
I'm going in with the mascara. I use the Last Sensational Mascara. I love this mascara. It's so easy to apply. I love the bristles on this. And I just put a little bit. You hear my dog start dreaming. <laughs> if I don't use this one, I use the L'Oreal Voluminous Curved, which I also am obsessed with the formula and how soft it is. And I just put a little chapstick on and that's all she wrote. Like literally, that's all she wrote. I'm gonna put a little bit of setting spray on, not too much. Which I did it backwards. I should have done that first before I put my mascara on, but whatever. A real life, <laughs> life, day in a life type makeup video. So sleep is very important. For me, I feel like if I don't get enough sleep, I feel like I don't function correctly. I feel like I am lost. I feel like I'm just not a human. <laughs> and seven to eight hours is the norm for a woman to sleep. I like to sleep my good six hours if I can because it helps me. It helps me wake up more focused, more energized, more all that stuff. And now I am moving on to my next thing that I love to do when I feel overwhelmed. Come on, Mattel. Y'all, being outside, get some vitamin D in your system. Get some vitamin D on your skin. And I come out here and I like to sit out here. The sun is kind of blinding me right now. But I love to come out here and just sit and relax by the pool. And sometimes what I do is I'll take my dogs out on walks. And that helps me. That helps me kind of just relax and regroup. So I just come out here. I sit out here and... I basically just look at nature if it's not too hot of course but I do like to sit out here and just take deep breaths do my breathing techniques maybe get a book get a journal and disconnect myself and the last thing that I am working on is letting go of the outcome letting go of the outcome can be very hard because sometimes we want to control everything that we are doing we want to control every single aspect of our lives and sometimes it's it's not like that and yeah so sometimes we have to just let go of trying to be in control of everything we can't always control everything that is happening to us and the fact that we can't control things i think is what sets anxiety and overwhelming feeling in us but yeah and i want to leave you with some quick verses that I have found that help me of course and Proverbs 3 5 and 6 say trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your path we have to be able to trust God and this is when it comes to letting go right trusting that God knows exactly what is good for us what we need and when we need it. We don't understand everything. We don't know what the outcome of a lot of things are and we make decisions that are not, in a sense, good for us. So trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and don't lean on your own understanding. And in every possible way, acknowledge Him. Acknowledge Him by praise, by reading his word, by seeking him, by prayer, and learning to trust him to, so that you can let go of whatever is gonna be the outcome in a sense. Another one that always stands out to me is Isaiah 41.10. It says, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And sometimes in this feeling anxious, feeling overwhelmed, we need strength, right? We need strength to kind of carry on, continue going forward. So don't fear, you know, fear, we always hear that fear is not of God, but sometimes we're humans. Fear sets in, anxiety sets in, and let's cast all our burdens onto God. Let's cast our anxieties onto God so that he is able to do what he needs to do within us. Um, not every time everything's gonna look perfect. There's gonna be days where we're gonna feel overwhelmed. And when you're feeling like that, 
take deep breaths, go outside for a walk, go read a book, unplug yourself from social media, unplug yourself from things that are going to just increase that feeling of anxiousness and anxiety and overwhelming. You know, just unplug yourself from like social media, anything that's going to increase your feelings towards your anxiety, towards you feeling overwhelmed. You know, write your feelings down, write your emotions down, write what you're feeling overwhelmed, what's bothering you, and maybe work on what is triggering those feelings, right? Like look back into what in my past triggers this now, or what currently just happened that all of a sudden it triggered me feeling overwhelmed. What can I do to better organize my day, to better, you know, set times for me to do things throughout the day so I don't feel overwhelmed? do things like that take you know and know that it's okay to feel the way you're feeling at all it isn't understanding god and we're humans take a moment pray let go let god i know easier said than done but sometimes is what we need to do just take a moment with god pray about it cast it all onto god and i hope that you found this video helpful insightful um i look i hope that you like these kind of conversations because we don't really talk about them much it is so important so important to talk about it because our mental health is so important and it should be priority for us and if you know of anybody who is in need of help or you think they might need help or just sit down and talk to them they might be feeling anxious they might be feeling overwhelmed don't just automatically assume everyone's okay. So comment down below if you have in the past or currently are working on things to help improve your anxiety, things to help improve your feeling overwhelmed. And let me know what has helped you because I know for me, I have to take a moment, write in my prayer journal, talk to God for a second, do some worship, maybe go outside and walk the dogs or sit out here and just look at the view. Those are things that I know have helped me and it's also a little bit of TLC for myself, you know, doing my makeup, doing my hair, things like that that are going to be good for myself to distract myself from my thoughts, from my feelings, from everything in general, right? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, it helps reach out other women who are currently maybe going through anxiety you know, or going through feeling overwhelmed. Again, I'm not a doctor. I just want to talk about it i want to talk about it as a christian aspect because sometimes as christians we are to be this perfect individual and we're not we're far 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 from perfect and we go through things we go through emotions we go through feelings we go through trials and it's all about how we conduct ourselves and how we get through it and so yeah and I hope you all have a wonderful evening, morning, afternoon, whenever you're watching this. And be safe out there, stay blessed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.